guys, welcome back to another video. H have you ever been a Computer Core fan like I am? Well, today I'm going to show, if you're building your own, today I'm going to show you how to make your uh, your own really cool Lockdown Blast door. Here's a demonstration of how it works. I click the Lockdown button. And this is what happens. If you want to learn how to make your very own one of these for your computer core game or any other game that you want to have a cool lockdown, if you want a lockdown, then smash that like button and keep watching. Our next part is how to build it without decals like this. So, to make this, you're gonna wanna go onto Roblox Studio. In this case, I'm using the story game template. You can use any template you feel. You're gonna wanna search up Lockdown Blast Door. You're going to want to find whichever one you feel um if if you place them in and, and it does not say uh uh um so to be able to make it accessible by this guy um you have to make sure the name of it is lockdown door one and it has the same so what i would recommend are only these two either this one pinewood lockdown blast door or VCC Lockdown Blast Door. So you would click one of them. In this case, I'm going to use this one. You have to make two of them. Where did this one go? You can click the zoom to to find where someone, uh, one of them went. Um, in this, so, so. What you're going to want to do, if they have decals on it and you want a no decal door, you're going to have to double click on the part that you want to remove it on the side, and then it removes that side, and you have to remove the other side too. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to find it, you're going to find one of them and rename it, instead of having a one at the end, name it two. Because if a if a code, if if something has an, if a item or something inside of the game has a name, a name that something else has, and you define the name in code, then the code will not run properly. It will break pretty much. So, um, so what you have to do is rename this guy to Lockdown Door Two. Now you're gonna wanna grab lockdown door two. Actually, so you're only gonna grab each one and you're gonna scale it. If it's lockdown door one, you're gonna scale it from the bottom to this, to like this. And then if it's, and then if it's, um, and then if it's, and then if it's lockdown door two, you're gonna wanna scale it to like this. And then slide them in. Whichever makes it easier, you could do the step as before you do the next step, or you could do it the way I'm doing. I'm doing it this way. So then, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to flip over lockdown door two, or the bottom lockdown door. If you made lockdown door one your bottom, then you flip lockdown door one. This is, this, th you have made it. You have made it. See, it's really simple. But it is more complicated than just inserting one. But it looks really cool for how simple it is. Now. Now, if you want to add decals. And to test if you want this to work. Next part is going to be if you want to do it with decals. This is going to test whether it works. So you're going to load in the game. Like I am. 
and then and then you're gonna wait till they go up and then you're going to want to click the lockdown this is on tml underscore 101's model so if you want to get this lockdown button it's free it's it's in my inventory models you can get this for free you're gonna click it or you could use this and um and then so see it where if it if it goes down and then if the top part goes down and then the bottom part appears and comes up then you've made it if something else is wrong um make sure to reload the video if you still don't understand um you um you may leave it in the comments i will read the comments and help you if something is wrong if if i don't understand by your comment i will say invite um um what you have to put in your username because if i don't understand then i'm going to say in the comments invite me to team create and i'll fix it so what then you have to do if you see that you're going to want to put in team create and then you're going to want to friend me and add tml underscore 101 to team create this way i will come in and fix it i will not do anything else but fix it but i may the only thing that i will do other than fixing it is complementing the work so um so that's just something to know okay um so yeah that happened someone's coming over right during the video that happened okay let me finish this off so now if you want to add decals if you want to add decals you have to do something else that's you have to, you've made your decal but then you have to flip over so you have to split it into two pieces split the decal that you've made into two pieces the top one we group the top one or whatever you want to do it to make it easier for me i group it and then group the bottom one you have to group the bottom one because then you'll flip over the bottom one and why this is is because since this guy is flipped over it's a little bit hard to explain since that's flipped over you see it the right way so it will be the right way and voila you've just made yourself a really cool blast door in under six minutes in just about seven minutes i'll see you all and i hope you guys i if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please smash that like button it will it actually i'm gonna do something really cool it if you've en if you guys enjoyed the so um so so if you guys enjoyed this video please smash that like button also please subscribe it would also it, it would mean no uh that's not close enough Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that like button. Also, please subscribe. It will really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye everyone. Please stand clear the doors. Bye guys. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video i have other stuff to do so i'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>